his scrawny legs like giant clotheslines from the WWF of old. Hello everybody, Grace Steel Plays, and we're back with more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator No Time for BS. So this whirly gigging psychopath that you see on the screen is one of three new units that have been shown by the developer for Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. This one in particular, your classic dual lightsaber, super-powered, Donatello-esque, bow staff wielding <laughs> human butcher. I don't even know. Just look at how easily he carves through all of his opponents. We're going to look at two others as well. A Warhammer unit, and I don't really know what to call the other one. Like some sort of Capoeira unit or something like that. But this right here, I am so surprised at how well this individual stays afoot. If you notice, like, the Tab's creatures are very poor at staying on their feet. They typically go flying all over the place and tripping everywhere. So this guy is a hell of a person to beat. Now right over here is the Warhammer unit. This guy right here, a huge shot to the shield there. His very strikes from that hammer just knock people on their ass. A second blow to a shield unit completely downs it. It's really neat to see how it impacts the shield and just like sends a shockwave through the character. Here is it again. Just as it comes down on that shield, BAM! The sparks go flying and that dude does a full flip and I am impressed now. He managed to get back on his feet. That is a hell of a thing. But one more shot downs the shield unit. The Warhammer unit would be really fun to have in a giant battle. So this guy here, I don't know what to call him. He's some sort of Capoeira Maestre or something like that. Watch this ridiculousness. His scrawny legs, like giant clotheslines from the WWF of old, as he just goes flying in like a human blender, making mincemeat out of everyone around him. This is so strange. I it's oh, Well, maybe there's a little bit of Taekwondo maneuvers. Nope. I guess not. He's just possessed by Satan, and his legs are heat-seeking missiles that can totally destroy anyone on the red side. This this character is hilarious. This is probably the highlight out of the ones I've seen so far. It's so glorious, the way that this thing fights. It kind of looks like the Slender Man a little bit. I don't know. His legs are clearly not normal. But look at the beating he takes. Well, I don't know if he's taking a beating or if just people can't strike him. Because he, look at him, he flies into battle. Blah, 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 and people's, people's clubs go flying. And there's just no chance. There's no chance to even hit this guy. It's a beautiful drunken dance. Maybe that's what it is. Like drunken taekwondo or something. And he's the only man left. So here we are with the campaign mode. Some people have been asking for me to check out the campaign mode, so we're gonna power our way through this as best we can. I guess we have just a couple of regular peasants here. Uh, let me think. What can I use for this? Let's use some headbutters. I'm like a huge fan of the headbutters, and they don't cost very much, and they do excellent damage. So, we'll go ahead and put that one there. And we got 20 left. Uh, for the 20 left, we will... Let me see here. I know there's at least one critter here that's 20. Oh, there's two, that's ten. Two peasants. We're gonna put them just in the front. They'll soak up some damage and die. Let's go ahead and start things off here and see how it goes. The men running into battle. These headbutters are going to beat that ass. Let me go ahead and slow this down so that we can watch as the giant bodies propel themselves forward. Yes! Thrust! Thrust into the opponent! I gotta say, if there's anyone who knows how to thrust, it is totally accurate battle simulator. And that was a really fast win right there. So now... It's the same, it's more of the same. Just more peasants, we get a thousand bucks. Since we just totally just obliterated those guys with headbutters, let's try something else. Let's put down a chariot. And let's back the chariot up with, uh, you know what, let's go, let's go straight, let's go straight grease for this. I'm gonna do a couple of shield men like this here. Do, there we go. And then we'll do, Three pike users, like here, here, and here. There we go. That uses up our money completely. And, well, I just thought of something. This carriage is going to go flying through our own men, isn't it? Hold on a second. There we go. That seems much smarter. Oh, yeah. Oh, Rudolph there would have been going right through our guys. Oh, yeah. Several individuals already leveled from the first pass 
of Santa's sleigh. And from here, the combination of shields. Oh God, here we go. Oh, this is gonna end up running over our own men. Yep, kind of, oh, our guy kind of skirted on by there. The chariot is just obliterating everything in its path. There's a few men that, oh, oh, the chariot is down. The chariot is down. That means that only melee units remain. There's one poor blue bastard over here that's kind of got his foot caught in the, maybe one of the presents or something like that, some silly putty or something, and he is down. A victory for our side. Another clear win from that one. Now it looks like we're getting into the realm of, I don't know, now it's like all Greece all the time. So let's go ahead and beat Greece with something else. Uh, let me think about this for a second. Yeah, sure, let's let's utilize the Huacha. We're gonna put that on the rock there. It gets a little bit of a little bit of air. Hopefully it doesn't flop down on its backside or something like that. I'd like to use several ninjas. Put a couple of ninjas there, a couple of ninjas down here, and a couple of ninjas over here as well. And then backing them up, classic samurai. I think that classic samurai. We'll probably do quite well. Oh, we don't have enough money for another samurai. All right, that's fine. What we'll do is we'll take one of these samurai out. Leaves us with 80 bucks. And we'll go with two of these guys right there. That should do okay. We got $10 left over. I don't know what to call this. I guess money. I don't really know if it's dollars or whatever. But let's go ahead and start her off right here. Oh, God. The Huacha ended up on its ass. Okay, so Huacha is out of commission right off the bat. This means... That we are only going to be able to fight with just our men. This is interesting. You can throw stars while on your ass. This is quite good. Wow, a star going by right there. Oh, just barely missing that shield user. Let's kind of maneuver over here and see what's going on. Oh, yeah. Wiggle the Batissimo, my man. Wiggle. Come on. Oh, you know what? Even without the Huacha, we may have a standing. We may have a chance here, guys. This is good. Those, those stars are flying everywhere. A beautiful thrusting cut. Oh no, the shield user, yes! Look at that, we were down 500. We were down 500 and we still took the win. I don't know, maybe things are just really easy in the campaign mode. <laughs> All right, here I wanted to do something a little bit wild and crazy. I don't know if we're gonna be able to take this. This is like a lot of Roman legionnaires here against like one barrel roller and two cannons. I kind of wonder if the black powder of Napoleon's era can totally dominate these guys with just the three units we have. Let's check it out. Okay, no one's firing yet. Cannon start. Okay, right here. Wow! The barrel roller smoking some of those guys. Look at the shrapnel go. Now there's still a lot of men left. They are trying to bust through the lines right here. That was a clean miss. A clean miss. And the cannoneers are going to have their work cut out from. Oh! <laughs> like four or five guys went down from that blast alone. Look at this. These guys are all charred. This is kind of interesting. Hold on here. Look at this, there's a darker blue guy than normal. Either he's been out in the sun too long or, ooh, right in the skull with that shot. And another face planting blast from the cannons. Oh, but now they're getting real close. The cannoneers just barely managing to squeeze out those shots and squeeze out those shots they are. They're gonna dominate. They're gonna dominate with just three men on the field. The barrel roller and two cannons against the entire Roman Legion. Here we go, there's only two left. This death looks good. Right to the abdomen. Split that cannon into three pieces. A split and twine. There we go. One man left and he is down a victory on our side. And now it looks like we've got quite an interesting battle here with some catapults. All right, here we go. I'm going with the Vikings with this one. We've got a couple of Viking men, some spear throwers, and a whole rear area of headbutters. I think I just deleted one of them. There we go. Let's go ahead and start things up. Now, the only issue is we're going to be up against these catapults. That one catapult there flew down from quite a... Oh, these are thieves. I thought they were just regular jerks, but it looks like they're thieves. Whoa, there goes a catapult. Totally missed, though. Looking like a clean miss right there. The spear throwers lining up their spears, and that spear right there going straight into the testicular region of one of these poor schleps. Look at this guy. Whoa! That, I can't really even call that a backstab. That's just kind of a four stab or something. Over here, look at these individuals. This quadrant of spear throwers kind of getting slammed by the... Oh, God! I was going to say getting slammed by that catapult. I'm not sure if these men can take out this catapult. Oh, we got a headbutter over here, like, moving with great speed. Look at him go. Look at him go. Here he goes. Oh, no, total defeat. Okay, maybe 
maybe the maybe the Vikings just weren't good enough for these particular catapults. All right, we're gonna try this. What I've done is I put two catapults down, a couple of archers, a couple of footmen, and I've spread everyone like way out. So hopefully those catapults won't be like totally demolishing all of our men. Right there, that catapult ball, oh, just barely missed that catapult. I was hoping it would take it out immediately. Oh, Jesus, our poor footmen just got a smash right in the back of the skull. Oh, I feel pretty bad about that. Over here, this catapult straight on center with that shot. That's one catapult down on their side, and we have two left as well. We've got a catapult ball flying over here. That was a big miss. A few bowmen still around, soaking up some of the hits. That's fantastic because these two shots coming straight in. That it was a two for two right there. So it looks like the key was to spread everyone out and go for those catapults because they're grotesquely OP. All right, what I wanted to do here is try and mess with these guys with our superior numbers. So I went with bigger numbers, but cheaper units. We got a bunch of headbutters as usual, probably my new favorite unit, along with some spear throwers and then a Viking on either side, just as like a, a big beefy kind of bastard. Oh, that was interesting. They started like 20 feet up in the air and they all crashed into the ground. Well, that's going to help out a lot as the headbutters go flying into battle. It is a shield and head butter smash up right here. Oh my god. Look at the melee. Oh wow. Our spear throwers just took down several footmen over here. The footmen starting to rush in. They may get a hold of a few of the spear throwers, but the spear throwers doing fairly well. They just have to watch out for those swords. Yes, those men are down. Over here in the middle, it looks like these footmen have easily destroyed sadly easily destroyed our our headbutters they were no match for those much i guess i could call them more elite units but i don't know if i can really consider them that the spear throwers though starting to whittle down what is left of the blue team here you can see a few men just getting stabbed right in the colon and there have you one spear thrower is left he just got cut down there now there's five on two it looks like can these spears reach their man is the real question. It looks like there's one blue guy who's like stuck on another blue guy. Yes, this man's sword has thrust into his friend's thigh and now he's screwed. The big issue is this shield man. Oh, wow, right in the head. I can't believe that spear took him straight out in the head. These are long bombs right here. A snipe, a clear snipe. And now these two guys are screwed. The one guy freed the other guy, but there's two spear users against this lone jerk right here. He doesn't stand a chance. A beautiful spear right in the ocular re Oh, look at it sticking straight through his skull. That's awesome. This seems like an oddly simplistic battle to win. We're going to throw down one catapult over there because the, the catapults are absolutely insane. And I think what I'm going to do is like put down some thieves over here and some thieves over here to kind of spread out the opponent. And then we'll put down a little bit of ranged firepower of our own. I'm going to put down a whole slew of archers over here. And then we'll do we'll do a couple more thieves just right over here. And kind of start with this and see how it goes. Now, right off the bat, this catapult should easily take out like 10 men. Right off the bat. Right there. Okay, like 10 or 2 or, you know, whatever. 10, 2, does it really matter? Those archers over there are going to po pose a real problem until the catapult flattens them. That's for damn sure. Right there, the catapult doing its job, taking out another man. Now, we also have a line of archers, which is really good. We just took down another archer right there. And our arrows flying into the lone spear user. And now, it looks like there was one lone archer. However, our archers managed to overpower him. That is fantastic. Oh, God, it looks like we're up against a whole slew of muskets. Okay, against this slew of muskets, we're going to go with all barbarians, archers, and peasants. I'm curious if these guys will stand any chance against the gunpowder arrow. Let's go ahead and start things off right here. Now, there, I mean, this firing line is going to be horrific. It's it, The big difference is whether or not we are going to be able to stand up to this first assault. Here we go. Let's go. And there goes the firing line. You can see the pellets. Like every one of them meeting a man. Oh my God. Oh, look, the arrows starting to come down. Uh, uh, several people were taken down by those arrows. Even more now falling to the assault. And that's the thing. They're so slow. 
those muskets are so slow that once your arrow users get the opportunity to kind of overtake them, even <laughs> the terrible aim though, overtake them just a little bit. Things are looking fantastic on our side here. It doesn't look like gunpowder will stand a chance. Let's see who can get the last shot right here. That is a fantastic... Oh, wow. This guy got turned into a freaking pin cushion. This is a lot of firepower, guys. We're up against a whole slew of cannons and a bunch of musket users. I don't know. I put down these ballistas just to, like, try and mess with them a little bit, but I'm not really sure how well this is going to go off. Let's take a look right here. Some of the ballistas already firing down range, but I don't even think that they're really hitting anything. That's the biggest issue is you they got to take these cannons out. That was a good shot right there. But those two cannonballs are just going to obliterate, a freaking obliterate our ballistas. Oh yeah, we don't stand a chance. We're going to need a lot more firepower if we want to have any chance at defeating these cannons right here. Oh man. Oh wow, this, this ballista is still alive. I'm really, never mind. I was going to say, I'm really impressed. Not so much. All right, if we don't have to use gunpowder, powder, I don't want to. Here's some catapults backed by old Rudolph here. It's just a matter on whether or not they're fast enough to... Yes! Wow, the cannonballs there couldn't even take out... I think both of those cannonballs hit that chariot and it still couldn't win. Look at this right here. This is amazing. Oh, wow! <laughs> Did you see that guy? That guy got freaking slingshotted out of the... Out of the free... Oh, wow! out of the chariot these chariots are so fast that the cannons stand no chance so wow against cannons chariots are the way to go holy crap the hit point total and the speed of them is just insane all right we're gonna go ahead and abuse the chariots and the spear and shield man a little bit more in this battle right here this was a fantastic place i never noticed that i didn't notice that Rudolph's legs just like cartwheel around. They don't, was that, was that a chicken? Oh, there's a chicken man over here? Oh my God, I had no idea. A chicken man, that could pose a huge problem for us. I had no idea uh, that a chicken man was on the field and there is no doubt, oh, those chickens are flying everywhere, tackling the living hell out of our men and a cross, that was cool, it was an X. An X of catapult took our guy out. Okay, a chicken man on the field. I'm gonna have to rethink this. Okay, so what I did was basically make a bunch of lines of fodder for the peasants just to see if that will soak up a lot of this freaking catapult damage. And right over here, we got Rudolph going back into the swing of things again. I want to slam him right into the middle of all this insanity just to try and get a bunch of damage in right away. That's pretty impressive though. The damage of the of the the chariot is slowed down and stopped by just there being so many men. Oh wow, that catapult got hammered by a catapult ball, but it didn't take it out. Very interesting. We still have two catapults left compared to they still have two catapults left as well, but they also have chicken men or one chicken man, I should say, in the mix. I don't know if these catapults are going to be able to take out those catapults in time. That looks like it's perfect. Yep, our catapult just got freaking wrecked. So now there's one catapult online. Our catapult managed to take a hit, and we're down again. Man, this is a hard stage. All right, well, the chicken man user is God, so we're going to put him on our side and see if we can do this without any siege weaponry. I've got a bunch of Vikings here flying into the fray. You can see right there, a total miss. For that that particular catapult i'm wondering if the catapults will all take out their own men our chicken man getting into the fray wow our chicken man just got his ankles blasted by both of those catapults both those catapults now appear to be targeting this giant cluster in the middle of the field and now one spear user left over he just got obliterated now all that's left is our chicken man and our chicken man dancing very, very impressively around the chickens as they go flying. Oh, wow. He just got cremated. All right, man. We're going to do cannons, archers, and freaking uh, footmen and thieves over here to see if we can somehow break, break this level down. It's a tough level. I'm going to tell you. I don't want to just try and cheat it. But the thing is, is that the chicken man is worth 1,000. And each one of these catapults are worth 600. So we are up against a lot, a lot cost of items here. And you can see those catapults already just 
just mopping up our men. Oh, but look at this. I think, yes, we did it. We totally did it. The cannons won. The cannons totally won. And now we're, it looks like we would be up against a whole slew of the Vikings. But I think that that's going to be it for now. We did a bunch of the campaigns here and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we got to look at three of the new units coming up to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. There's so many units in this game that this game is going to have totally limitless potential. I love it for that so much. If you guys have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see in the next video, feel free to let me know. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.